Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 7th through the 13th of August, 2022. Hope you guys had a great week. I'm going to take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everybody. Also keep in mind, in a general reading, the energies can reverse or flip-flop. It's not at all unusual. And I do want to let you guys know that I am going to be giving away a free personal reading, tarot reading. Um, all you need to do to qualify for that is to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and drop a comment. Okay, so subscribe, like, and comment. And that will put you into the drawing for a free personal tarot reading. So let's get started, guys. Spirit, can I have the energy of Virgo? Virgo. Virgo. All right, Virgo, you are starting out with the Four of Swords in the reverse. You have the Star and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. All right, so I feel like something here uh, has ended and uh, you've spent some time apart from someone. Most likely, you have not been in communication with them. But recently, you have either communicated with this person or you're hoping to communicate with this person. I do see that um, you have been taking this time apart to get some balance into your life, emotional balance. And I also see that um, there's a little bit of an awakening that's happening for you here, Virgo, which is very nice energy. Um, yeah, so more of the higher chakras are opening for you as you're getting that emotional balance, and that's very nice. Um, you may have a new beginning that's trying to come in as well. Um, some of you may be initiating communication, so let's let's look at who you're, who's in your energy. Show me who's in Virgo's energy, please. All right, we have the Two of Cups. You may be dealing with a soulmate. We have Judgment. And the Six of Wands. <laughs> wow. All right, so Virgo, the person that is in your energy here, they're definitely interested, all right? Um, this is somebody who wants to be on the same page with you. I feel like the, they want a reconciliation if the two of you have been apart. Um, for some of you, it looks like the two of you may have already um, talked about coming back together. But this is somebody that wants success with you. They want this to work out. They're very invested and they're very focused on this connection. Let's see the energy between the two of you. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Happiness, emotional fulfillment. So a lot of you, it looks like, has, have already had communication with this person. I wonder if you've already come back together and that's why you're feeling more balanced. Let's see, what is directly affecting this connection, please? The King of Wands. Yeah, somebody's taking action here. Now, you could be dealing with a fire sign. That would be a Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. But don't get too caught up in the signs. We have all of them in our chart. It looks like someone did take action here, though. Um, it looks almost like you may have initiated um, some form of communication and they pursued it hard when you did. They, they wanted this to come back together, which left you feeling pretty hopeful about things. Let me look at your outcome. Oh, some of you may have a child with this person. Not everybody, of course, but somebody, somebody does. The Magician. Sign of Gemini. 
Yeah, you're um, you both are manifesting this. You're both manifesting. So uh, you may have like this new beginning coming in. The way it's looking right now, someone has taken action to kind of bring this back together, but you may be kind of holding it up just a little bit because the person you're connected with, Virgo, they are all in. They're, they're trying to, they want success with you, but it looks like you might be holding it back just a little. Your energy is not as clear as theirs as far as moving forward. Um, bottom of the deck we have the queen of swords now that's underlying energy you could be dealing with a air sign gemini libra aquarius as an energy though um it tells me that there might be a little bit of defensiveness here queen of swords is known as a divorce queen um and so the queen of swords if you notice she has her hand out okay so she is open to discussion she's open to talking but she also has that sword out. So if what this person is saying to you is not, you know, really to your liking or you don't feel it's going to be in your best interest, you know, that sword comes down and you you cut them out. So I feel like you may be holding this back just a little bit, Virgo. So let's um let's clarify. Spirit, why is the four of swords here in the reverse? Looks like you've done a lot of healing as well, Virgo, which is very nice. Yeah, you have a fear here of, of this new beginning. Fear of a risk, taking a risk. Okay, so we have the fool in reverse and we have the world. So I am seeing some fear. Um, I am also seeing that there's, for some of you, you may live at a distance from this person that's part of what the fear is, you know, being in a long distance connection. For others of you though, I, I'm seeing that there's some kind of a cycle that you're closing out here and you may be holding back from this new beginning and, you know, until you close a cycle. Um, something happened here that caused you to kind of recede from this person to not talk with them for a while. So I feel like you, whatever that is, that cycle is closing out. You've done a lot of healing, but there's a fear of starting something brand new with them at the same time. Why is the star here? Why is the star here? Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're a little bit defensive about an offer of some sort. You're hopeful. The offer is kind of small. So I, I feel like it, you might be defensive about a message that you received. Some sort of, if so, it might have been like a text or something. I see a, a bit of defensiveness about some sort of message. Uh, I do feel like you're very hopeful about this connection, but I'm also seeing that there, even though you're receiving some sort of offer from this person, there might be outside forces that you are afraid is going to affect this connection as well. So while you're hopeful because of the, the offer, the beginning, the, the, the connection, the uh, communication, you're also aware that there's outside forces affecting this connection. Um, why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? And I think that that might be part of why you're holding back, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. So you're willing to work on something that's long term, but there's something here you're saying has to end. Um, somebody here may have a spouse or a baby mama 
there's um, there's a commitment of some sort here. It's whatever this outside force is. So what you're saying is, I'm willing to have this new beginning. I'm willing to, as long as it's stable, solid, you know, and long term, but something else has to end in order for me to be willing to work on this. I'll work on it, but some you have to end another commitment. Either you have to or they have to. There's a commitment here, and it feels like you're saying they have to. Because I feel like whatever this outside force is, is this commitment that you're you're asking them to end, or or at least if you're not asking it, you're that's what would need to take place. That's what you're you're thinking. Because I can see you want something with them, Virgo, that's long term. But that's the cycle that needs to end is some other commitment. And and it could be it could be like there's outside uh, connection that maybe it's a, a somebody's uh, ex could be trying to interfere in the connection. Whatever that outside force is, you're asking for that to end so that you can work on a, a long-term commitment with this person. So it makes sense to me, Virgo. I, I can understand why you're holding back and you have that fear. I, I get it. And it makes a lot of sense. Let's look at their energy. Why is the Two of Cups here? Yeah, I mean, honestly, Virgo, I think I would be doing the same thing. Especially if there's a history where whatever this outside influence is, it has driven a wedge in the past. Okay, so... So the person you're connected with is acknowledging that there's a lot of problems here. They want to work it out. They're tired of waiting. They're tired of waiting. They want to they want to be together. They they don't want to be apart. Um they want to be on the same page. They see you as their person. And the delays are a problem for them. So I feel like uh they don't want to wait. Even though there's problems, they don't want to wait. Why is uh, judgment here? All right, we have the Eight of Rods reversed. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> so they may have been blocked. Either they blocked you, you blocked them. Um, and that may have been because there was uh, breadcrumbing involved. There was possibly this person was giving attention to more than one person, which makes sense if there was outside interference. But I do see that the, the connection itself was blocked. I see that there was possibility of one or the other, either you or them blocking each other. They want a new beginning here though. They want a new beginning and they want it to be a stable new beginning. There's an acknowledgement here that, um, that their actions blocked this new beginning. There's an acknowledgement here that things were imbalanced. And so I feel like this person that you're dealing with, I feel like they 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 want to uh they want to bring it back together, but there's still some things that need to be addressed. Yeah, there's definitely still some things that need to be addressed here that could be blocking the connection. And so that's that's why you're defensive, Virgo. Um, also, also, I feel like um, if this person does live at a distance from you, I feel like they're they're willing to move, or they're hoping you will move. If there's a distance relationship, they would like one of you to move in order to to have a solid beginning. 
and I feel like um, I feel like they they feel like that's what's causing the imbalance as well for for those of you that are at a distance they feel like the distance is the problem so they don't want that distance for those of you that live at a distance they feel like the distance is a problem they want to end that distance they feel like that's bringing an imbalance to the connection why is the six of wands here Ooh, they're walking away from a commitment. Yeah. The Hierophant could be a Taurus. Um, and the Eight of Cups. So this person is walking away from a commitment so they can have success with you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, why is the Ten of Cups? Let's look at the connection. Why is the Ten of Cups here? We have the chariot and the six of wands reversed. Okay, so things in the past have not been successful, partially because of distance. Um, for those of you that there is a distance, that, that's been a big problem for your person. Now, for those of you that that's not an issue, and you may have had to travel as well. Um, you may have been the one who did most of the traveling. But um, for those of you that distance is not an issue here, um, I feel like the person that you're connected with, I feel like uh, they have felt that things between the two of you broke down. Everything broke down between the two of you. They now want to be together. They want to be on the same page. They're willing to leave a commitment, a prior commitment of some sort, in order to be with you. They're tired of waiting. Um, they see you as being their happiness. So I feel like there's a cycle here. You pulled back from them, Virgo, to heal your energy. And I feel like that cycle where you had pulled back and weren't communicating, I feel like that cycle has ended. A new cycle is beginning. Things are beginning to move forward very rapidly, but it is bringing up some fears for you. Because while you do see them as your, their, your happiness as well, things are moving kind of quickly. Um, yeah. Sign of Cancer. Um, sometimes I intuitively read um, the chariot as a Gemini um, as well in that in the traditional deck. Um, why is the King of Wands here? All right, we have the Six of Swords. We have the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Hermit. So what is affecting the connection is taking action. There's definitely a spark between the two of you. There's, there's, um, there's passion between the two of you. Now, I see somebody here that is weighing up. You're both actually doing this. You're weighing up the pros and cons um, in this situation. So you want to move forward away from a chaotic situation. And this chaotic situation, Virgo, has to do with some, uh, some like outside influence. And I believe it's, it's a, another connection, another uh, possibly a marriage or an ex or, you know, it's with your person though. You're hoping this offer moves you forward together. You want to move forward together. And I do believe you'll you'll discuss that with this person. So you're weighing up the pros and cons of this. What happens if I do? What happens if I don't move forward with this person? Uh, your person, there's a lot that they're not saying. They're keeping a lot to themselves here. 
Yeah, they're keeping a, a lot to themselves. They're they're uh, a little bit in hermit mode, but very focused on you. They're they're definitely very focused on you. They are very passionate about you. Um, they want a new beginning with you, but they want it to be stable. So they're weighing up the pros and cons with that. Um, there is still, <laughs> there is still for some of you the distance, and there's also this past blocked energy. They don't talk about that a lot. So it's a decision that both of you are making. Your decision is whether to move forward with this person. Their decision is about leaving another commitment of some sort, walking away from another commitment in order to have success with you. You're both at a crossroads. Um, let's see why the magician is here. I mean, honestly, Virgo, I don't know why they're so deep in thought about this because their focus is on you. They're, like I see very little about the other person in their energy. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords again. Now, it's in your underlying energy as well. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups reversed and the Page of Cups. All right, so you're both manifesting. Um, you're both manifesting clarity. You want, you both want clarity here. Um, in a situation where there has been confusion, the confusion has been because there, somebody has had options. I believe it's your person. Now, they are going to be walking away from another commitment, and they're going to be bringing a commitment or a an offer. Let's say an offer, not a commitment. They're going to be bringing forward an offer to you. It's small. It's not going to be huge. It's small. And I feel like you're going to be willing to listen to what they have to say, but you're very defensive, Virgo, in as much as you want to work on this as long as it's something long term. But they have you have to know that they're ending and they're they're truly walking away from this other this other commitment before you're willing to you know take that leap of faith with them otherwise i feel like you're just going to kind of cut them out and and you're on guard here you're on guard because i feel like you don't want to get hurt in this situation again you already have been in the past. All right, so bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, very guarded. I feel like you are very guarded, um, but you're still holding on to this person. You're holding on to, you know, the... There's a few things you're holding on. You're holding on to this person. Like, you haven't completely let them go. They definitely haven't let you go. They're fully focused on you. I don't even know why they would be with someone else. It makes no sense. And I feel like um, you might be holding on to some fear and, you know, pain from what had occurred prior. Um, and that's why you're guarded. But it makes sense to me. So I, I guess I can't blame you on that. But you're going to listen to them. You're going to hear them out. And you are going to hear from them. All right, so let's pull a few cards and see if we get any more messages. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got several cards, actually. Okay, so we have the Chaser. Uh, chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. Um, you know what? I I don't know who that would be. I I feel like your person um, they might uh, they might be the runner. So you know, some it looks like you have a runner chaser dynamic going on though. Um, kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving of affection, and falling in love. This person that you're you have here, they are definitely 
in love with you. Um, I'm seeing this codependency again. Uh, we have addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block. So that's your person here. Um, they they may be very codependent. Um, yeah, and they're restraining themselves somewhat from from the, from this. So they're definitely very focused on you, obsessed actually. The Phoenix, a new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, and growth a changed mind and that would be with you Virgo an old cycle ending a new cycle beginning the Phoenix rising healthy choices making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care and being happier um, I do think this is you as well Virgo because I feel like that's what you're attempting to do here you're trying to make healthier choices for yourself and I do think you are so that's why you are a little guarded here and I don't, I don't blame you. All right. I hope this has been very helpful for you, Virgo. Remember, if you would like a free tarot reading um, or an opportunity for that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and also leave a comment. And that will put you into the drawing at the end of the month. Okay? So until I see you next week in the weekly, namaste.